Hi guys, this is Erica from Gokche Capital. Now before I begin, be sure to click subscribe and turn on the notification bell. In 2017, two Navy veterans decided to come home to West Virginia and start a farm. But their new farm would offer something special. Bison. We'll learn more about rifle farms at the end of this video. But first, if you are looking to start a farm on your land, why not consider a bison farm? And in today's video, we have the top things you should know. Number one, what is bison farming? Bison farming is the process of raising bison, sometimes colloquially known as buffalo, for their products. Number two, where can you farm bison? The bison once ranged across the entire continental U.S. So that means you can farm them almost anywhere, except perhaps the Southwest. Number three, how do you begin bison farming? The first step is to find a plot of land. The rule of thumb is one to do bison need roughly five acres and a full herd requires about 100. Once you have your land, you can buy your bison. You can check the National Bison Association for a specialized breeder in your area. Before the bison arrive, you will need to install sturdy fences that are over six feet tall. Fortunately, you don't need a barn with bison as these animals don't require housing and are able to withstand even the worst winter storm. You will need to feed your bison, however. During the winter, you may need to feed them limited amounts of hay or feed. Bison are susceptible to parasites, so it's a good idea to get safeguard licks. You'll also need to deworm them on a regular basis as well. Finally, at the end of the cycle, you will need to slaughter your bison. This is usually done on site as bison can be hard to transport. And once the meat is butchered, you will of course need to sell it. Keep in mind that the bison market in the US is small, so it's a good idea to talk to local restaurants, farm cooperatives, and grocery stores before starting to see who will purchase your meat. And number four, what are some additional tips for raising bison? First of all, prepare for high initial costs. Bison farming isn't cheap, especially when it comes to purchasing land as you will need a lot in order to raise a herd. When you purchase your first bison, it's a good idea to start young You'll also need to invest in a quality fence as bison are strong animals and can jump surprisingly high. In addition, though bison are generally self-sufficient, they do require a lot of water, so plan for a water budget to supplement what is on your land. Finally, remember that bison are wild animals and more aggressive than cows. But at this point, you may be wondering, is it really all that feasible to start a bison farm? Well, just ask Liz and Jimmy Rifle, who run the first commercial bison farm in West Virginia. The couple are both veterans of the U.S. Navy Nurse Corps, of which Jimmy is still an active member. The two met while working with wounded warriors at the National Naval Medical Center and never looked back. As the time came for Liz to retire, there was no question that they would end up in West Virginia. Jimmy had been raised in the state, and wanted generations of rifle boots to walk and work the ground. Liz grew up with horses and had her heart set on a horse farm, but Jimmy suggested they look into something that would make a bit more money. When the couple had been stationed out west, they noticed you could get a bison burger or steak at almost any restaurant. So Liz did some research on bison meat and discovered something surprising. According to her investigation, Bison meat has less fat than chicken, more protein than salmon, and more omega-3s than grass-fed beef. Upon further study, Liz also found two additional advantages to bison farming. First, she would have absolutely no competition in West Virginia. But also, because bison are considered an exotic species, they are allowed to be field harvested which means the rifles could control their entire supply chain and ensure that their animals would be humanely slaughtered. And so, in 2017, the first seven bison came to rifle farms. Still, the first few years were not without their hiccups. For one, Liz quickly realized that bison are able to jump a six-foot-tall fence from a standstill. Plus, the downside of choosing a meat with no competition 
is that most people in the area have never tasted nor cooked bison, which meant it took some work to build a following. This was why Liz started hosting farm tours along with cooking classes and bison tastings in an effort that grew into a full agritourism operation. After all, a herd of bison is quite a novelty in West Virginia. And though Liz still works part-time, the couple plan to fully retire on the farm in a few years. And if they can do it, so can you. But what do you think? Do you have any stories about bison farming? Let us know in the comments. Did you like this video? You're going to love our Gokche Land Due Diligence program. We'll make you a land due diligence expert in just seven days. Check it out at gokchecapital.com slash glad. And while you're at our website, don't forget to explore our $1 down properties at gokchecapital.com slash listing. Finally, don't hesitate to reach out. You can email, call, or text, and we will respond as soon as possible. So thank you for listening and more to come.